and welcome back to art class. This week, we are going to learn about shapes. Last time we got together, we learned about different kinds of lines. For example, horizontal lines, vertical lines, and diagonal lines. And if you take those lines and you combine them together, you can make different kinds of shapes. For example, you can take four lines to make a square. You have to make sure that they're all the same size. But if you put two short lines and two long lines together, you can get a rectangle. And all of these shapes can face different directions too. This rectangle is horizontal, it's laying on its side. But I could also draw a tall rectangle that's vertical. You also have three lines can make a triangle. Four lines tilted could also make a diagonal. And there's tons of other types of shapes. Parallelograms, these are all lines that are parallel or run next to each other. A trapezoid, a hexagon. A hexagon has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. A shape with five sides is a pentagon. And a shape with eight sides is an octagon just like an octopus has eight legs. And some of our shapes also are just round, like a circle. Or if you make your circle a little bit more stretched out, you could have an oval. Now all of these shapes that I just named are known as geometric shapes. There are different kinds of shapes. Geometric shapes are the very simple ones that are made up of different lines, or in the case of circles and ovals, are one continuous line making a round shape. But when you take some of the straight lines and some of the round lines and start combining them together, you get freeform shapes. For example, a star is a freeform shape where you can start from the top and go down, up, side, down, up. A heart is a freeform shape because usually the bottom of the heart is a little more straight and then you get that round bump at the top. A cloud shape is a freeform shape because clouds can constantly be changing their shape. A crescent, like a moon, or even a lightning bolt, which has a whole bunch of zigzag lines to make up that shape. So a lot of the times when you're learning about your shapes, they don't all just group, get grouped together. They are actually separate types, geometric and freeform. Now I'm going to share a really special book with you to learn even more about our shapes. The name of the book I want to share with you is called Picasso Loves Shapes. So we're going to learn a little bit more about the shapes that we just talked about before, and we're going to meet a famous artist named Pablo Picasso. He might sound a little familiar to you. He's pretty famous as far as artists go. We're going to learn about why he loves shapes so much, and I can also share a little bit with you about the artist and his life. So if we get started with our story. All right. Hello. Let's talk about shapes. There are many different kinds of shapes. This is a circle. And here is a rectangle. Remember, rectangles have two short sides and two long sides. That is a triangle. Triangle has three sides. Hi, Picasso. Hola. This is a beautiful shape. It's muy bonita. Why, yes, I think so too. You know what it needs. More excitement. More something. No, the triangle's fine, Picasso. In that case, hasta luego. See you later. This is a square. Remember, a square has four sides, but they're all the same length. And this shape is an oval. <gasps> this shape! Oh, it's Picasso again. Lo siento, amigo. I am inspired. It's feeling inspired. Let's see. I must paint! Oh, so it looks like Picasso's painting something on the oval. What do you think he's making? Let's find out. Let's turn the page and find out. <gasps> it's a face. 
No, it is perfect. Very beautiful work, Picasso. Gracias. More shapes, por favor. Sure. Should we give Picasso some more shapes? I think we should. I want to see what he does with them. Let's see. Next, we have a trapezoid, a parallelogram, a pentagon, and an octagon. These are very good, but it needs more. May I? Okay, Picasso, go ahead. Thank you. Come, mis amigos, let's make art. And all the children are going to come help Picasso make art. Yay! Maybe these look like some of you in our class. And everyone's looking at all of the shapes. Now look at all these shapes and think about what are some things you could make out of these shapes. What are some pictures that you could put together? Let's see. Ooh, we can add lines. So we added lines to the square and that makes it 3D. It makes it into a cube. So now it's an actual form that we could hold like a box. And mix shapes. See, hearts and circles. And then you add more lines and it looks like a, a, a um, box of flowers. We can make new shapes too. Now these shapes, when you make a shape that is very squiggly or wiggly, kind of like this, all right, that kind of shape is called an abstract shape. If I write that word down here. Abstract. That is what those shapes are. So when you create a brand new shape, kind of looks like, you know, maybe like spilled milk or something, just random squiggles, those are called abstract shapes. We can put shapes together. You could put two circles, like we make a snowman. You could put a triangle and squares and smaller squares to make windows to make a house. Putting shapes together to make trees. So that's really all that art is. Art is lines and shapes put together. Wow, everything is beautiful. This makes me very, very happy. Looks like Picasso and his friends have made some pretty beautiful things. Which shape is your favorite, Picasso? I will have to say, oh, I love all the shapes. Wonderful job, friends. Let's go make more art. Adios. Bye, friends. So that was all about Picasso and why he loves shapes. But we could actually take a little bit to read about Picasso. So, Picasso was an artist who made all kinds of art. He made paintings, sculptures, and even costumes. That means he made clothing that you could wear. All right, so he made all kinds of art. Not only did he make all kinds of art, he made lots of art over 500,000 pieces of art. Can you believe that? Not just paintings, sculptures, clothing, everything. That's amazing. Picasso was a very passionate person. He made art with his heart and energy. He was also very good with the ladies. They're all like, hey, Picasso. Ooh, ew, right? Ew. Picasso loved doves. He built birdhouses in his bedroom so they could visit. His wife did not like that. Can you think, why, would, why wouldn't she like that there were doves in their house? Probably they were making a mess. There are quite a few dove paintings that Picasso made. While some artists are famous for only one style, Picasso is famous for many styles. Artists can have different styles, different ways that they paint. Maybe things look realistic. Maybe things look more cartoonish. So Picasso had lots of different ways of creating his art. During the blue period, Picasso was very, very sad. So he used a lot of the color blue. In the rose period, Picasso used lots and lots of pink. Some say that's when he was in love. So he was very happy and used a lot of pink colors. Cubism was a style that Picasso created when he was experimenting with shapes. 
So cubism was when he would make a picture of something and it didn't quite look like what it was until you looked really closely. This painting is called Three Musicians. If you look really closely, you can figure out where the three different musicians are. And there's even a dog hidden in this photo somewhere. No surprise that Picasso loves shapes. All right, so there is the book, Picasso Loves Shapes. Now let's talk a little bit about your projects and your assignment for this week. For this week's assignment, we're not actually going to draw anything. Instead, you're going to go on a scavenger hunt around your house to find five different shapes. Now we have all of these shapes here, so you have lots of options that you can look for. Now I'm coming here to you from the art room here at school, um, here at school number six, and I decided to take a walk around my art room and see what kind of objects I could find. So I wanna show you. Now I found a rectangle with one of the photos that I have on my desk. I have a photo of, this is a photo of my mom's cat. His name is Stanley, but the frame that he is in is a rectangle. It's short on these two sides and it's long here. So that's one shape that I found was a picture of Stanley. I also found on this welcome sign that I usually keep on my desk, I found a star. So I've got a star right there. That's one of my freeform shapes. I also found some packages of scotch tape that are in a perfect little square shaped package. So that's another shape. I found a square. I found a circle when I was looking through some of my art supplies because I found some coffee filters. And when I flatten them out, they make a circle. And last but not least, I found a heart because I have some of my Halloween decorations out just to kind of make the classroom look nice even though it's just me. And the little tag on my little beanie boo is a heart. It's a little flat right here, but the tag is a heart shape. So those are my five shapes that I found. I found a rectangle, a heart, a circle, a square, and a star. So I want you to go around your house and find five different shapes. Take all the objects, put them together, take a picture, and then attach your photo to team so I can see and I can give you a grade. So no drawing this week, just some fun going around your house, find five shapes, take a picture of them, and then send me a picture of your five different shapes. All right, I can't wait to see what kind of things you find around your house. And I hope you have a lot of fun while doing it too. And I'll see you guys next time for art. Bye.